Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Verdugo Fire Academy Class 20. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can please stand for the presentation of the colors. Presenting the colors will be the honor guard from the Pasadena Fire Department.
Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. At this time, I'd like to bring up to the podium Cadet Perez for the class dedication. We started this program in January and completed our training in December. During the 12 months of this academy, the fire service lost 93 firefighters in line of duty. Class 20 would like to dedicate our graduation ceremony in the memory of Los Angeles City firefighter Kelly Wong, who died in the line of duty while engaging in training exercise. Good afternoon. Okay, let me try that again. Good morning. <laughs> Class 20, let's show them how to do it. Good afternoon. Sir, good afternoon, sir. That's the way we do it. Good afternoon. I'm Chief D. Giovanna. Welcome to Verdugo Fire Academy Class 20. Before we get started, I want everybody to get comfortable. So reach out to someone you don't know and introduce yourself. I'll give you about 30 seconds to do that. Okay, now that you've met one another, I'd like you to meet some very special people. To my right is the Verdugo Fire Academy staff, Battalion Chief Tony Bagan, Captain Ken Bateman, and Captain Rick Burroughs. I would also like to thank the Verdugo Fire Academy instructors in the audience. What an honor and a privilege it is to work with you. You're true professionals and completely dedicated to this program. As we know, during December, there were a lot of wildfires burning. We have retired fire service personnel and in-service personnel at the Verdugo Fire Academy. Many of them spent weeks on, on many of the fires we had. They came home for one night. The retired personnel came in, worked with them, and we received all of our live fire training during the month of December. Due to their dedication, uh, that's how it got done, and I can't thank you enough. They deserve a big round of applause. Today.
Also in the audience, Dr. David Viar, Superintendent and President, Glendale Community College. <laughs> Board of Trustee Members, Yvette Davis. And I don't know if Tony Tartaglia is here. He was supposed to be here, but let's give him a round of applause anyways. <laughs> Jan Swinton, Dean, Workforce Development and Instructional Services. <laughs> Scott Rupke, Division Chair, Technology and Aviation. <laughs> and Victor Castellanos, Program Specialist for the Verdugo Fire Academy. Victor, Victor, stay, stay standing. You're just as important as all of us up here. You're the behind the scenes person and we can't uh, thank you enough for all you do from the beginning of the cadets when they register all the way through the process. Thank you and thank you for that but not all, for also being a friend. You're a great friend, good man. <laughs> We'd like to give special thanks to the Glendale Fire Department who just left on a call but they are, they are our sponsoring agency. We could not do this without them. Thank you, give them a round of applause. And I'm gonna come back to De Dr. David Viard. Dr. Viar, since you've come to the college, and it's no disrespect to any past presidents, we have seen the Verdugo Fire Academy grow, along with the Board of Trustees. We can't thank you enough. We just signed an agreement with the Glendale Fire Department for a joint training center. Normally, we do most of our training on campus and bounce around to other fire departments. We like being in one centralized location. Thank you for what we have in store for the future. We can't thank you enough. Thank you. You know, tonight's the Golden Globe Awards, right? Well, I, you know, we have a lot of chief officers, fire chiefs and captains and rank and file from the fire department here. We're putting them to shame. So let's give them a round of applause. Again, thank you for attending and being part of the celebration. Not only do we teach cadets basic firefighting skills, we teach them leadership skills. Cadet Bagan will introduce Class 20 leadership team. Thank you, sir. It's my honor to introduce to you the uh, graduating cadets of Class 20 and those cadets that have gone above and beyond and have served in leadership roles to help lead their class through over the last 12 months. Please hold your applause to the end as they stand up and receive recognition. Representing the Alpha Platoon as Alpha Platoon Leader, Cadet Louis Piedra. <laughs> he has a big family. All right, we're going to hold our applause to the end, okay? Unless you just feel compelled, like you have to applaud, then you go right ahead. <laughs> Representing the Bravo Platoon as Bravo Platoon Leader, Cadet Christopher Perez. The Class Battalion Chief, Cadet James Ramlochian. The Class Guide, Cadet Kyle Irving. <laughs> class President, Cadet Daniel Watase. Yeah! The Class Secretary Treasurer, Cadet David Markheim. And the Sergeant at Arms, Cadet Roberto Ponce. Thank you for serving in a leadership role. <laughs> Okay, the cadets have been through a lot the past year. I'm sure you've seen the worst in them and even the best in them. True? Yeah. Okay. Many of them worked full time. Many of them went to school full time. Some got married. Some had babies. And we even had someone make an engagement on the last day of the academy. Though we'd love to hear from all of them, here are a few experiences they've encountered during the Verdugo Fire Academy, starting with Cadet Ramlochin. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is James Ramlochin, and I've had the great honor of representing this class as their battalion chief this past year. I would like to first off thank all of the family, friends, different agencies, and our Verdugo Fire Academy staff for coming to celebrate this special day with us. Just about one year ago, we, we, we received a very valuable lesson because our class could not do push-ups in unison and clearly had never heard of the word teamwork. After a long morning of team building exercises, we gathered into this exact auditorium 
where we outlined the walls in our brand new stiff leather boots, fresh off the press uniforms, and watched the previous class graduate and celebrate all of their accomplishments. I don't think I've ever stood in one place and been so quiet for so long in my life. I think I can speak for the entire class when I say my legs and back started to cramp after the first 15 minutes of standing at attention. Fast forward to the first official day of Academy, January 5th. 52 of us stood up and stood in lineup with our nice and shined boots, freshly pressed uniforms, high and tight haircuts, not knowing what was about to hit us. We started the night off with a uniform inspection, and the next thing I hear is, everyone on your faces now, give me a set of VFA push-ups. As we then attempted to do a set of push-ups together as a class in unison, we looked like a bunch of seesaws. That night, I don't think we reached more than five push-ups because we couldn't work together as a team and accomplished the goal of doing 20 push-ups together. It was right then and there that I realized it was going to be an extremely long year if we didn't come together as a team and operate as one. The rest of the night was full of teamwork building exercises, and I came to the conclusion quickly that all the sizing up and judging I did on others at orientation night needed to be put behind me. The lesson we learned that night was that the fire service is all about working together as a team, and that over the next year, we have to work together in order to accomplish all of our goals at hand. This past year, we were pushed to our limits. We were tested mentally, physically, individually, and together as a class. We learned more than just how to pull a hose line off a bed of a fire engine, or how to throw a ladder safely and efficiently, or how to cut a hole in a roof with a chainsaw. We learned a lot about ourselves, conquered fears, and achieved goals that we never dreamt of achieving. We adapted and we overcame. To Chief Sam, Chief Bagan, and the entire Verdugo Fire Academy training cadre, thank you. Thank you for pushing me and the rest of the class to our limits. Thank you for believing in us when we didn't believe in ourselves. Thank you for giving us all the tools and the knowledge and the foundation to not only become the best firefighters we can be, but also helping us grow as individuals. To Chief Washington, Chief Brown, and the entire Pasadena Fire Department, thank you. None of this would have happened without the two of you. Thank you for trusting me and allowing me to represent the Pasadena Fire Department and giving me the chance to work towards my dream. To my mom, dad, sisters, and all my family and friends, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for everything you sacrificed this past year. Thank you for believing in me when no one else did and staying by my side through this whole journey. To class 20, we did it. I would now like to introduce Cadet Marka. Good afternoon. My name is David Markheim, and thank you all for being here today to celebrate this milestone. It feels like it was just yesterday, being in Class 21's position. It was our first weekend, and we were lined up around this auditorium for last year's graduation. I stood there for what felt to be an eternity, and I thought to myself, what did I just get into? It has been a lengthy process, and we've all been asked, why would you commit to a year-long academy? In the end, I would say I would do this all over again. The experiences and friendships I've made along the way are invaluable and will be with me for the rest of my life. Because of the Verdugo Fire Academy, I'm finishing stronger, more disciplined, and focused than I did when I began. We all are. In the beginning, nobody really knew one another. In the first week, we looked around and sized each other up, trying to see who we thought has what it takes to make it. Everyone was just an individual. Some barely been talking to each other the first few months. But as time went by, that all changed. As one instructor always said to us, this is a we thing. And as the year progressed, we bonded. We came together as a team and succeeded not just as a team, but as a family to be on this stage today. We proved to ourselves, to each other, and all of our naysayers that we have what it takes to make it. To my fellow cadets, I'm honored to have gone through this past year with you. We faced many obstacles and we were tested mentally and physically along the way. Together, we made it to the end. I wish each and every one of you success moving forward. To class 21, this is just the beginning. It will go by fast. Work together, give it your best, and you will succeed. I want to give a special thanks to my parents for always supporting and encouraging me to pursue my dreams. To my girlfriend, 
for the sacrifices you made to support me through my journey and to listening to all my stories at the end of the day. <laughs> to all of our family and friends, the du Verdugo Fire Academy staff and the entire cadre of instructors throughout the year, on behalf of Class 20, we thank you for your continued support and guidance. We would not be standing here today without you. I would like to now introduce Cadet Mendieta. Good afternoon, friends and families. Thank you for being here today. I remember the first day of Academy like it was yesterday. My heart was pounding, beating out of my chest that first Thursday when we were in formation at attention. All of us looking straight ahead as our two instructors came our way, like a scene of a movie, yelling at us, drilling us, even before getting to us. us. Each of them inspecting our uniform, our character, and our integrity. When it was my turn to get inspected, I had forgotten to button the pocket behind my pants. After many, many push-ups, this is where I learned one of my first lessons, and that was to always pay attention to details. This year-long journey has taught each and every one of us countless of lessons, along with memories that I will cherish and a new family I can lean on. Throughout our preparation, we have faced many fears, challenges, and struggles that together we overcame. Lesson number two came with this experience. I was always scared to fail in anything, but I learned quickly that I would have to fail in order to gain wisdom. All of our failures taught us to work, train, and study harder. The instructors encouraged us to always give our all, leave any task at hand better than how you found it, and if you're going to do something, do it right. I remember the beginning of the year we had to take the ladder off of the engine. And though this skill may sound simple, it was quite difficult for me. Maybe if I was taller or had longer arms. Just a bunch of excuses I made. I was taught that it is not the size of the person, but the size of the heart that matters. Life will hit you hard, and we will face many new challenges. The real challenge of growth comes when you get knocked down. Lesson number three comes from my parents, whose support is one of the reasons I'm here today. I would love to share some of their words with you that got me through this, through this year. They taught me to always remain strong, but to always be kind, to persevere, to never give up or give in, that fear kills dreams, to challenge myself the best that I can every day of my life, and in closing, to never judge, to always be humble, and lastly, we only get one life to live, but if you do it right, once is enough. Class 20, you have impacted me in many ways, and I hope that I have done the same. I am thankful and blessed for each and every one of you. Thank you, Verdugo Fire Academy instructors. I'm lucky to be a part of this academy. Thank you, friends and families, for all your support. We are standing here today because of it. Thank you, San Gabriel Fire Department, not only for giving me the honor and privilege of wearing your patch, but for helping me through many obstacles. I hope, in some significance, big or small, I have made you all proud here today. Thank you. It would be impossible to explain exactly what the cadets did for the past year. So as the saying goes, a picture's worth a thousand words. Please join me in viewing Verdugo Fire Academy Class 20 video.
Well, we're going to give out applications. We still have some spots at the next academy, Victor. Okay. Do you think they're deserving of their certificates? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment uh, we've all waited for, some a little bit longer than others. Uh, this will be a great picture opportunity if you want to come down uh, front. The cadets know the order that they're going to be called up, so hopefully they kind of uh, schooled you on that a little bit so you know when they're coming up. You're welcome to come down here and take some pictures. You're strongly encouraged to applaud them at the top of your lungs as their name is called and as they come across the stage. And there will be a pause in the front here when they get presented the, their certificate by the chief so you can take a picture if you so desire. Sponsored by the Glendale Fire Department, Cadet Kyle Irving. Cadet Roberto Ponce. Sponsored by the San Gabriel Fire Department, Cadet Giselle Mendieta. Cadet Jimmy Lohr. Sponsored by the Oxnard Fire Department, Cadet David Medina. Sponsored by the Montebello Fire Department, Cadet Stefan Wickermasinger. Cadet Malik Babayan. <laughs> Cadet Luis Piedra. <laughs> Cadet Matt Brownstein. Sponsored by the Monrovia Fire Department, Cadet Christopher Orlowski. Cadet Justin Lopez. Sponsored by the Downey Fire Department, Cadet Edgar Morales. Cadet Kevin Bueno. Sponsored by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, Cadet Christopher Perez. Sponsored by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, Cadet Andrew Tavera. Once again, sponsored by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, Cadet German Mendez. Also sponsored by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, Cadet Kevin Tate. Sponsored by the Burbank Fire Department, Cadet George Alagigian. Cadet Marcos Esperiqueta. <laughs> Cadet Caesar Urquia. <laughs> Cadet Raul Salmeron. <laughs> Cadet Damian Torres.
Cadet Ernesto Becerra. Sponsored by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, Cadet Jeffrey Kryman. Sponsored by the Pasadena Fire Department, Cadet James Ramlochin. Cadet Eric Campos. Cadet Patrick Eskandare. Sponsored by the Pasadena Fire Department, Cadet Keith Williams. Sponsored by the Monrovia Fire Department, Cadet Daniel Watase. Cadet Chris Tassello. Sponsored by the Los Angeles City Fire Department, Cadet Jack Latinsky. Sponsored by the Pasadena Fire Department, Cadet Asinir Brown III. Cadet David Markheim. Cadet Nicholas Martinelli. And last but certainly not least, sponsored by the Arcadia Fire Department, Cadet Mark Fuentes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Class 20. Okay, two more seconds. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue on because though all of the cadets had put their all into this program, we would like to honor those who work beyond the mark of excellence and expectations required at the Verdugo Fire Academy. We are about to present awards to those who would not take no for an answer and scored the highest throughout the year in specific areas. Captain Rick Burrows. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be able to present to you the cadets that had perfect attendance. Of the 900 hours, not one minute was missed by these cadets. I'm gonna read through their names and if you mind holding your applause till I finish reading all the names and then we'll give them one great big uh, welcome and congratulations. The first cadet, George Agilion. Eric Campos. Mark Fuentes. Justin Lopez. David Markheim. Nicholas Martinelli, Giselle Mineta, Eddie Morales, Chris Orlowski, Luis Piedra, Robert Ponce, James Ramlotion, and Raul Samarang. Congratulations. The next award we have for the cadets is for the outstanding physical performance. The Fire Academy, we utilize the NWCG, the National Wildfire Coordination Group pack test. The pack test, in order to pass, you have to wear a 45 pound pack and be able to walk three miles in 45 minutes or under. Uh, the individual that won this award walked the three miles 
in 25 minutes and 35 seconds. Basically, with that 45 pound pack, he was walking at 8.45 miles per hour in order to, to gain this. And that individual is Cadet Watasi. And it's my honor to introduce to you Captain Bateman. Thank you, Captain Burroughs. It's my honor and privilege to um, award the next four awards. The first award is for outstanding community service. The VFA tries to inspire all cadets to become involved in the community and in donating their time to assist in various community service events as the VFA believes this rounds out a cadet and makes him or her more, pro more marketable. This award goes to the cadet that has volunteered the most hours during their time in the program. This year, the cadets collectively volunteered more than 360 hours, above the required 920 program hours. This year, the Community Service Award goes to cadet George Alagigian with 84.5 hours of community service. Congratulations, cadet. The next award is for highest academic achievement. This award is given to the cadet that has earned the highest score on all the written exams that were given throughout the program. This is a competitive class and the test scores have been close in all four blocks. In fact, as close as a few hundredths of a point. The cadet who receives the highest academic achievement award for class 20 is cadet Danny Watasi with a score of 97.44%. Congratulations, cadet. The next award is for outstanding leadership. This award is given to the cadet that exhibits outstanding leadership for the duration of a block of instruction. The recipient of this award is nominated and voted on by their peers based on various criteria set forth in the VFA program and policy manual and the leadership manuals. The cadet receiving the leadership award for the final block of class 20 is cadet James Ramlichen. Congratulations, cadet. The final award I will be presenting is for top cadet. The award for top cadet goes to the cadet that has the highest accumulative score at the end of each block. This score is based on all written exams, manipulative exams, quizzes, attendance, and code of conduct combined. This award, like the highest academic award, was very competitive for all four blocks. And the final score was within a few tenths of a point. This year's Top Cadet Award goes to a cadet with a combined score of 100.04% and the first female in the history of the VFA to receive it, Cadet Gisele Mendiata. Congratulations. <laughs> The recipients of these awards will all receive certificates for their achievements. Let's give them another round of applause. We have a special award from the Arcadia Fire Department. I'd like to bring up Engineer Britt Cole. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations, excuse me, to all the graduates of the Verdugo Fire Academy Class 20. One more round of applause. <clears throat> My name is Britt Cole, and I'm the Vice President of the Arcadia Firefighters Association. I'm also an engineer with the Arcadia Fire Department. It's an honor to be here today to present the Andy Troncali Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the members of our association. Captain 2, Andy Troncali, truck captain, worked for the Arcadia Fire Department for nearly 30 years, and at the age of 52, in January of 2012, uh, lost a battle of job-related cancer. When someone dies in the line of duty, is to make it is important to make sure that their memory lives on. 
One of the ways our association has committed to do this is by offering the scholarship in, in his memory and awarding it to a Verdugo Fire Academy graduate. We wanted this award to go to someone that displays some of the attributes and characteristics that we appreciated in Andy. So how to narrow that down? Wisdom, knowledge, though true to who he was and what he gained over his 30 year career, um, we're trying to think of something a little bit more of what he would do as a, what would he have done as a Fire Academy graduate? Should we award the award to someone that tells great stories or has a, a crazy sense of sarcasm? Probably. Andy would have liked that. Leadership, team building, and cohesion. That's what we've chosen to base this award on. Someone who leads by example, empowers others to do their job, and invests in others professionally and personally. The recipient of this year's Troncali Scholarship Award is to George Alagigian. Can I present this to him? We'll give it to you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. something about Andy that, that you may not know, and I share this because Andy is very special. Andy and I grew up together in West Covina. We went to school together. I like to think that I was his training chief because when we were in the fifth grade, we practiced setting fires in my parents' backyard. <laughs> I got the belt, Andy got the training. Um, he was always smarter than me, but not only was he a great firefighter, he was even a better human being. I miss Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. It's now time to certify the cadets and give them their final dismissal. Following certification and final dismissal, the staff, instructors, and cadets of Class 20 invite you to join us out front in the auditorium for refreshments. By the power vested in me as the Fire Academy Coordinator for the Verdugo Fire Academy and as Master Instructor with the Office of the California State Fire Marshal, I hereby certify that the graduating cadets of Verdugo Fire Academy Class 20 have met the minimum training requirements for certification as Firefighter 1 with the State of California. Class 20, you will now receive your final dismissal. For the past 12 months, the cadets have heard the command fall out at the end of each training day. This meant that they had not yet completed their training and they were expected to return for duty for the next scheduled academy day. For the last time, they will hear the command dismissed. This signifies that their training with the Verdugo Fire Academy is complete and they were successful. Verdugo Fire Academy, Class 20, dismissed.
Hey, hey, hey.